Hi guys, in today's video we'll be doing this free form curvy structure uh, which looks like a ribbon of free flowing structure uh, which isn't that hard, it looks hard but isn't hard uh, so uh, and we'll be doing it in Rhino so let's get started uh, let's open a new file uh, and I usually work in millimeters and let's go for a larger object because this could be something like, like a chandelier or ceiling hung structure or something like that so first let's go start with making a base frame so we know exactly how much height we want and the width so I've taken 3000 uh, millimeters which is 3 meters and I'll take exactly the half of it which is 1500 millimeters uh, so yeah it's gonna be a huge uh, gigantic um, structure so let's make a curve so on the standard tab you will find the curve and on the curve you can get the interpolate curve and we will use that to make our curve and if your ortho is on like if you s like like mine was on so it will be a little bit difficult to make a freeform curve so just we'll turn the ortho off um, and yeah I'll, well, we'll make it in the front view rather than the perspective which will make it easiest for us to draft so once we have done it from the front view then we can move on to the perspective view and then with the help of uh, control points uh, we'll turn that on and we can uh, move it with the help of the gumball uh, and uh, that's how we basically get our form so but it should look like as if it's a curvy structure or a ribbon flowing and not just too rigid so we're gonna be very careful about how do we do it so that we know exactly how a free flowing structure how a ribbon flows or a free structure of motion is so if it's a little bit difficult then it could help us we could by you know seeing a couple of reference images of how the free flow structure is uh, so we could just move along that and uh, basically this is all about uh, this Once we're done with that, then we do extrude curve along curve, which I uh, had done this in my previous video. Uh, so do check that out if you are interested in other videos too. Um, so now in this, so in extrude curve along curve, first what you do is you click on the curve, then press enter, and then click on the second curve, and then it will take the form. It will extrude along the curve, and so yeah. If now that wasn't wireframe to get it in uh, rendered we can go on the display tab and use the display the render
and see now in this uh, you can't edit if you try to edit it wouldn't edit so if you want to edit your curve further and make a little more changes uh, so For this, uh, let's start all over again. So for that, what you need to do is turn on your record history. There's something called as record history, which when you click on that, and then when you uh, start uh, giving input your commands, it records whatever you do. So we'll let's extrude the curve again along the curve, and now if we turn our control points on. And if you want to edit it, ed uh, we can. Ed it's editable, so the curve, the surface will take, a, will move along that point, or uh, it will uh, sh take the shape as per as we move the points. Like in our previous uh, command, when we hadn't taken the record history, uh, we couldn't edit the curve as per the base curves that we had. The surface wouldn't get edited. Only the curves would would move so this is a really very uh, handy command when you want to edit your surface after uh, making the surface and so basically that's it this is all that you require to make the ribbon uh, this is basically my version of doing it there may be uh, there may be hundred other methods of doing it Uh, so and a part two, uh, I'll be having another video on the Scoby structure where I would, um, if you want to have your curve or your ribbon form in a particular pattern or like in a particular, sh not pat in a particular pattern, yeah, like if you want to have in a particular stars or hexagons, your entire ribbon made up of that. Uh, so please do check that out. So ribbon, uh, let's go one step ahead and give it uh, a material to it so that it looks like a ribbon since oh, this video is all about making it look like a ribbon, the structure. So let's open our material tab uh, which is under the render tools which looks like uh, the paint kind of bottles crushed out, that's our material tab. And uh, now if you see, my now the materials are loaded in, so you can cl click on the plus sign to load in the materials. And uh, yeah, just open the render content. And in that, there are all the basic materials that you get 
from Rhino itself. If you want other additional to it, like you see my texture is empty, you'll need to import them. So for transparency, to make it look like a ribbon, let's uh, give it a little transparent look. So we'll open, but uh, this transparency is more of like a glass kind of thing. So we'll have to, yeah, if you can see the reflection, it's too much. So we'll have to edit the look of it to make it look like a ribbon and not have the reflective property in it, which looks more like a glass or a plastic kind of material so you just double click on it and uh, the editing will open and yeah so let me just make it a little more bigger yeah so if you see the gloss finish is quite high so we'll reduce it to make it now look glossy which ribbons basically satin ribbons look glossy but satin ribbons aren't transparent so uh, yeah and this is basic yeah we will need to have a transparency a little bit higher and there's something called you can just go ahead and you know see or uh, what materials is there there's something called emission color which makes it look like neon so for that now our emission color is in black if you see if you change it into red it will look like yeah, a neon kind of thing or let's turn the green or something yeah it gives like a neon effect so you can go ahead and do that if you want it's like all on your option choices so I'll just go back to the normal thing yeah, so basically this is for our today's video thank you guys for watching please do like subscribe and share for more content, thank you.